accompaniment. It's quite nice. It makes it slightly more romantic. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I, there is one thing to say that even if you play it without the chords of the piano, they're very well done. You should think like if you are playing it with the piano. But so it would be a very useful exercise, even if you eventually play it uh, for for solo bass. I mean, the sense that to play this music without having in your ears the chords in which it's moving. So first of all, I read, of course, I must learn the notes. Then the step immediately uh, and find, uh, of course, for us, the transcription. So you have to find the, the proper positions, the, the right fingers, etc. So that's the first step. But immediately after that, I must try and, and reconstruct the arm. You know, and, because there are very often one tends to find lots of melodies inside. The, well, it's very complex music with fantastic composers, we all know. So you can find also some melodic projections already, although it's, you know, it, it was quite, I, I think it was quite much more um, forward than, than these uh, contemporary composers. I mean, there are apart some, 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 some other great silver. But, but without the harmony, you cannot really play because it's sort of polyphony reduced to, to one line. <coughs> so already in your part, there are all the voices. It's just a question of, of, of reconstructing them. And that was a little bit what was missing in your playing, I think. Which was slightly played like note after note, very nicely, very good. But actually, we should try and find the right grouping and the right sort of waves. So, that's the, the tonic note. So, so the work you have to do is to give directions towards the notes that are really important that they clarify the harmony. But let's suppose eventually you want to be able to play it like a suite, like a cello to sort of by yourself. So now we've got the support of the piano that helps you hear which one is the right harmony. But it shouldn't be indispensable. You know, this should be a help. It makes it nice as a piece of a concert piece, I must say. It's quite pleasant. You know. But let's try now and play also with you helping the piano in, in, with this element. But, but there are very simple <coughs> sort of, for Baroque music, very simple little, that we can, com, rules is a big word, there is not even rules in the sense that you can make uh, change to them without too many problems if you think about it. But usually when you go towards a higher pitch, you, you give a direction in Christian. When you go to a lower pitch, you, go, you, you give a sort of... <laughs> I, don't, I say that's not, I mean, that works in, <laughs> until I would say, even if you play symphonies so or modern in orchestra, because Valentina told me of this interesting project between, you know, solo and chamber music that they can help orchestra players. That's absolutely right. Because if you mean, if you make, it's not written, but that works. You know, um, it's a very simple thing. You know, like in the articulations, there are very simple rules there as well. Like, so the chromatism should be more on string than than when the notes are closer. You could play them nine. It's not in this moment you don't see that very much because there is lots of legato involved. But sometimes when you've got lots of uh, notes uh, uh, not legato and there is written nothing, no dots, no lines, no nothing. Because they, they, they used to think that the, the player, I mean, in some way, until a certain point of history of music, I think the composer, they trusted much more the player. <laughs> A little bit like nowadays in groups. I mean, you don't tell the bass player if you should play short or long. You suppose he knows. 
you don't write dot long dot long, you should learn. And a little bit before all the, I mean, if you like the extreme sort of, uh, the extreme of the detailed score starts, I would say, since Wagner over, you get to Mahler. I mean, Mahler, for composers, for the conductors, I have a shift of guess. <laughs> for conductors, in some ways, very easy. Because if you only do exactly what it's written on the score, it works really well. It was a good conductor, so it's everything longer, shorter, not a, a drang uh, forward, a leba forward, so it writes even when you would do things naturally. But it's quite clear that at that, at that point, he puts things that are not natural anymore. So once we we'll get free of this sort of natural flowing of the notes, we are stepping into some more modern concept of music. You know, so until I would say, with Beethoven, we start having rhythm dynamics that are against the natural flow. So you have in symphonies of Beethoven very often to have piano, 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 piano sempre piano, keep going piano, don't play louder. Piano. You find the term. Because if, he, if nothing was written, why he had to write it? He would have played like an heroic third. And so he doesn't want that, he wants something modern. Oppure, at the contrary, he writes forte, 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 pa, pa, ta, ta. You would have played pam, 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 you certainly in the ancient time. And he starts getting modern. He starts getting that uh, sort of slightly neurotic ryth rhythm uh, impulse, rhythmic impulse of modern music. You know, for, 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 but here we are still in very few points will go, will make exceptions. But we can, uh, we can, I think in some points we have to think like an organ. You must think right, really like the basis of the, of the organ. Uh, and that, that maybe will be an exception to the normal flowing. Of the, that's why I told you it's not a rule, in the sense that sometimes you can break the thing for a sort of dramatic uh, sort of effect, exactly. So when you go against that convention, it means you are doing something really strong really important, really dramatic, either in piano or in forte. Later on, composers, they will write it. Here, we still have to guess and to hope, you know, <laughs> because, as you know, there are so many different ways of, of playing it. The back street is still people keep on playing them because there are many solutions. With, you know, when, when you split the score in different lines, Maybe you think that's the, the main line, but I might think this is the main line. So uh, it depends from which notes I put in evidence, and you hear some different stuff. So that makes it interesting. It's very cold, very beautiful, very cold, and yet very natural. So we must make it feel. Let's try and play it once more, and maybe a little more fluent. Because it's not written at that no, it was it was a bit slower than uh, yeah. Yes, exactly. I think now that we went through once, uh, we can uh, and always look for the important notes. Let's see what you can do. I, I now if we play it once more, I try and help you. Right? Can you touch us? <laughs> Tari da tiri da 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 Four notes of ornamentation. Yara di da ti. 
Because it's a thief. <laughs> so, it would have been easy. Ra, 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 ra. Well, it's not like that. So it makes some interesting. Yeah, you expect at the end, you don't get it. So remember that the D is later. That's the low line. Until we don't get the D, we don't understand which note. You see where very often actually we can, now talking with you, I can see it puts the, the the tonic note on the second beat. So it looks a little bit like it should be You see that now now I'm discovering it together with you. In some way it reminds me of the pulsation of Saraband. I try to get that passage. I think it probably works all over the street. Tranne che when it starts you know, it's really when the organ partita and toccata they start opening all the, you know, so you have some, some post cathedral. Who have that up with it? But I'm trying to think in that sort of pulsation, it might work. So when you get to the to the, the major key, you should in some way sound happier. Uh, where, where are we? Sorry. Yeah, yeah uh, from there, straight up. Straight from Martin. Yeah. Well, just before the major key. Where maybe one di da 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 di da di da ti a ti da ta ri. But maybe before, probably that's a good point, you know, just one bar, bar 16. Uh, this, this is after. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, bar 12, I, I jumped the line. Uh. But maybe it's so probably it's easier 11, no? It's like... Okay. So it's So don't play because I can see from your head you're really making every note. Type a mobile test. Just some special things on the top of the.
guy you played even before you play Sinatra. That's He's insisting. Think like if you are playing the the heavy winter. I must little bit cut your. That must be really a little bit scratchy, eh? not, not as a sound, but mm -hmm. as a feeling. Eh? But let's make it. And you see that all the times you resolve on the second. Eh? So the first four notes is basically you. So they're, they're important because they're not unexpected. You know? So that's important, but we don't need to repeat. I would make what let's make yeah just one before the progression in the fourth of method. So thank you. It's a great tension gives that, that insisting yes. on, on that interval, on the C on the G C sharp. You know? Or even you can get the G on the second string. Yes, so better to have it really clear at the interval. And not at all sort of portamento. It must be a little sharp, hard. No, don't try and make it uh, gentler, you know what I mean? More gentle. Okay, let's speak from the C sharp there straight away. No, 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 I can't hear very well the C sharp. Yeah. No, by the way, we, we, we can't vibrate that interval. Okay. But gently, if we vibrate, we can't understand what interval it is. Eh? It's not, you see what I mean? And so think it harmonically, not melodic. Don't try and try, vibrate is like a sort of is, a, is an extra thing of the sound, but it's all based on harmony. This music, you know, an interesting harmony. So must be really clear. With it. Once more, the C sharp.
that's what they were looking for. And could you check with the piano where well, the, the, the bar, if it's really made? Just check it on the yes. You know, my, uh, you know the bar number? Uh, no. no. Great. <laughs> it was, you know, what we get from the C sharp before, which was that part. Yeah, exactly. This comes from there. Just no, from my figure. It's one, two, three bar. Yes. Ah, no. Yeah. There is not. Yeah, it's the right one. We can check on the on the manuscript then, but I think it uh, the piano is not a C sharp. And I remember in my version that was a, a, a G sharp. That should be so that we can put a little sign. Just one uh, I use these four minutes left uh, just to see why you had the problem of uh, of trembling the bow at the end. Because I think it's slightly out of string the your weight. You know, so if you put that, that you see, if, you, if you get half here I mean, many times, you know, cellists sometimes they add some uh, sort of arpeggios that they sort of take a freedom of, uh, of, uh, of uh, flourishing it, you know, or putting ornamentation or something like that. But if we don't, we should make in a way, I think, that we hear the progression. That long note, yeah, slow, but with the tension, especially towards the second digit. But it's special. Maybe this one. Maybe. I need a little more bow, so. It could be, it could be, we could be in two bowing. Let's try once. But the point, it wasn't so much yeah. the bow, then I got distracted. This is the fact that you keep the bow other end of the string and don't use just one, one tenth of the hair. Maybe in some extreme piano dynamics. So. But here we need a little more sound. So. But at least in the harmonic, you, it's very comfortable. You see what I mean? Force you to have the hand. But try and do just uh, 30 seconds and more hair on string, you know. On the Let's try one time as they come. And uh, see, you might. Uh, you might uh, but, but don't think it too slow, just think to the progression of course. Control 
that is an harmonic progression. Let's try just the last three, one, two, three, four, six measures. No, 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 just with one bar before it and see what it comes. So I think it like sort of notes free, free, free of time, you know, not too much, don't count one, one, two, three. Just feel feel like a huge slow progression, you know, with the with the special care of when it gets on the on the delay of the third, not only so fourth third. But let's try one, one bar before. And use more head. Yes. Mm -hmm. Soprattutto la progressione quarta, terza, tira, tira, quella deve risolvere, hai capito assolutamente, perché se no rimane impiccata lì che non sai cosa farci, hai capito? Io penso che ci siamo, I think we should sort of be around, ok? Thank you. Anche se non ti sei in battery, no? Ok, devo cambiare la batteria.